But uh, Abe and Men in Mind are going to get into it. So, uh, of course. Uh, no, no, no. You, you can't just be opening up and making me blush like that. You can't do that to me and not let me get my time to speak into what's good, Vince. Uh, <laughs> we're just jumping right into it. It took a little second there. Sorry for the delay, but we're getting right into it with Mind. Uh, one of 72,000 Luigi's that live on the West Coast or play for <laughs> with the West Coast versus yeah. Ape It Man. Uh, we're seeing them here in losers uh, compared to normal. Usually, uh, of you know, nice visitation rights to winner's side pretty much all the time. Yeah. Uh, Ape Man took a few losses earlier today, but you know what, man? He still got the mindset on it. Oh, my God. All the fares in the world. I'm sorry, mine. But when you're off the deep end against Rob, who arguably has one of the best recoveries in the game, uh, uh, you might um, you might have been better to plant your feet on the ground. See, I appreciate the commitment. Just uh, uh, what was the pay what was the payoff? What, what was the payoff? What were you getting out that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, mind is just trying to get into his head early on, right? Like, hey, you know what? I'm gonna make it look like I can't complete that because the next time, oh, bet next time. See, I didn't even go off stage that time. I'm just gonna clip you with the edge of my toes. Yeah. Uh, the Robo Arms here to put him off the stage. Ape Man with the downer missed opportunity. This gives Mind the play for center stage though. Yeah, like it, especially in this like in this matchup, you want to hold center stage because you want stuff like this. You want to keep them buried in the corner so you can go ahead and run the cycle and take the stock. Uh, so close, yeah, man. You, Ape Man, like he's such a strong player, but sometimes, man, he's one of the players I see shamble people, but in that same regard, he gets shambled as well. Oh my god! All right, finally got out of that one. Look, even the best players get grabbed. That's just the end of the day, right? It's Luigi. They're gonna get it eventually. You gotta hold it. Unfortunately, it's one of the things you gotta do it in a matchup. But Ape Man is just like he's so smart and he adapts on the fly really well that he's gonna adjust by trying to get mine early on a uh, like an edge guard or getting him off the top with his own grabs. Not anymore in round one though. <sighs> Jesus, getting hit by Luigi I'll be it, it's a soul stealer. Like you know you're playing neutral. You're trying to go for an option, and then you just go for something wrong, and then Luigi just kills you with an up, you out of shield. Like, you want to talk about, you want to talk about Ryu and Ken, sure you out of shield? Man, Luigi out of shield, up, he just hurts. Man, you lose a whole stock. Not only are you losing stock, you're getting set on tilt. Facts. Yeah, it, it really, it just, like, gets under your skin, because you're running, and you're running, and you're running, hoping that you could eventually avoid the grab deal with the pressure but the thing is luigi is so good at conditioning you into jumping and making you misbehave because you're trying to deal with that grab that right they just get anti airs over air to airs over and over again anti airs we've seen it time and time again with elegant with walk on here with mind here it's just it, it's everybody's got a game plan until they get grabbed by luigi and the, dude, that is true and that's that's honestly your best game plan against luigi is <laughs> It sounds funny because it's like the top player thing, like don't get hit. But in Luigi, mm -hmm. it's really the arguable of like, don't get grabbed. That's the last thing you want. You don't want to be anywhere within like, you want to social distance yourself against Luigi for sure. <laughs> yeah, keep six, keep six feet all the time. The gyro does a good job at that too. You got lasers to do it. You got the down tilt pressure to kind of just mash on them. Well, I like Battlefield as well, just because you can escape to higher platforms a lot easier away from those situations which forces mine to have to go for platform based combo game versus grounded combo game right right and that's very different for luigi because the ground game for luigi is really strong uh nonetheless though ape man will be slowly pushing towards center stage missed opportunity with the forward air but nonetheless that down tilt and like you said ajax the gyro there to hold the stage mm -hmm. as mine fights his way back on yeah, who needs a mask when you got gyro? Just keep them out. Yeah. I, the, <laughs> it's just, it's such a pain once mind actually gets in because of the big body frame of Rob. We've talked about this right. time and time again. You just get, you get hit over and over. You get carried to high percents. It gets evened up quick. Like you see Ape Man even right here at 60%. Giving him the respect he deserves until that moment when pretty much everybody gets conditioned into that role in that situation. Yeah, it's, when you talk about option selects and option forces, I feel mm -hmm. like that's one thing Rob really excels at. It's definitely forcing options and where like you go for a roll and you feel safe. When in reality, you played straight into Rob's arms. Yeah, it's like one of the kings of uh, ledge trapping, but putting the gyro at the ledge, you either get bounced into it with the up smash or you're forced to deal with them on jump. You see he's been doing those short hop back airs, that time throwing it down to get the bounce. Misfire always coming in when they need it the most, but not converting into a KO. <laughs> Look, man, if I were I tell you right now, Ajax, when COVID is over and we're going to Vegas for Evo, make sure you find any Luigi main and have them put <laughs> yeah. it all on the slots because they're going to win big. Yo, best believe I'm going to chill next to you so that we can actually do side bets during the Luigi matches because you have <laughs> the you are the prediction king of figuring out when Luigi's will get those misfires. 
Oh man, well, you know what? No misfire there for Apen, man. Definitely the, all jets are firing on every single cylinder as he gets the upper two stock lead. And this is what he's looking for, man. The lead on Luigi is very important because you force him to approach you. And Luigi's approach game and aerial speed is just some of the poorest stuff in the game. So Luigi being on the back foot is where you want to keep him at all times. Yeah, mine trying to tell him that his current programming is out of date though that download that he had before kind of disappearing because he's slowly been bringing back this damage he's been finding himself into a situation where he's been able to force ape man to ko percents and now ape man he's trying to get the most he can out of this stock to like get the extra damage i like the aggressive approach on recovery there caught him off guard but <laughs> that's yeah that's gonna be down to stock only getting 63 percent after he had him like pretty much up 100 plus each stock Oh, good patience from Ape-Man, too. Trying to read the get up there and punish him accordingly, especially with him at the ledge. Neutral air to stop mine there as he tries to make a play. Honestly, I... Oh, okay. You know, he's, I was going to say, he was able to recover, but unfortunately, at high percents, time at the ledge is less than mm -hmm. where you wanted to be. And with the jab boosts to the face, that's going to be Ape-Man taking it 1-1 one, one now. Yeah, much, like, much better job that game, too. They're kind of... Just, I, the, I think a big part of it was Battlefield. He had more room to work with. He was able to navigate around and use his pressure from the projectiles and kind of box him a bit better the way that Rob wants to do. That short hop fair, just smack him out my face, get on the ground, get away from me. Even with mine making some adjustments at the end, it's still just ape it, man, just establishing pressure at the ledge that dominated that game. Yeah, when, when you look at the matchup for Luigi, the, the matchup spreadsheet, it's honestly Luigi does correctly suffer against characters that are particularly predominantly zoners. Um, and that's the thing, too, is like you have to really, really watch yourself against characters like Rob, Richter, Samus, because those characters really mm -hmm. make it hard for Luigi to get in and what a space where that's where he's that's his game plan, man. That's what he wants. He wants to find that grab facts it's still hilarious to me that <laughs> luigi has one of the best grabs in the game that's a tether grab and it's one of the best short hop tethers to use it's just it's such a good like get in tool against people like this but it also gets thrown off a bit because of the fact that you get established pressure from gyro and from lasers that kind of backs you off so it's gonna be interesting to see how he does this on a smaller stage with only one platform to work with by comparison to before right All right, well, so far, I mean, the way the Ape Man is playing is he has a lead, you want to hold it, you have the... Down tilt for Rob is good, but it's the place where Ape Man always throws Gyro. Even if he just has it out in general, it's just really good for him there, because he can pressure you with down tilt to the Gyro, and then get somewhat like a pseudo-infinite to the point that he deals enough damage to you, and it really forces you to, like, watch your rolls, but also understand your aggression, because if you're playing too aggressive, Rob has tools to just make you back off for a second. Oh, oh, oh <laughs> that would have close. been gorgeous, gorgeous if he was able to get that. Mine just barely missing that up B. Still finds a solid punch with the grab. Should lead. Actually, didn't even go for the down B. Just went for, for not even the instant up B. Just right. waited until the end for maybe a jump to go for the up B. Okay, mine, nice. Trying to play the neutral here. Great way to try and dash back, but dash back for Luigi is really rough because of the animation, but also just in general how it's been changed from four to ultimate. Down throw gets the up tilt to the cleanest up air, man. No shills, no frills. It's all done here. Ape Man with a lead. And then, of course, you know when you got a lead against Rob with a zoner, uh, you make it really rough for Luigi. Yeah, and you can see that mine is doing a better job slowly, uh, like adjusting to the way that he's been using his pressure, using his projectiles and full hopping over. And Ape Man has answered immediately after this. Like, okay, I see you're jumping a lot more. And he's just continuously throwing out hitboxes on his way in so he can make as much out of this stock as he can. Right. This is look, this looks aggravating for mine. Like at this point, when like at 98% behind against Rob like this, you you definitely need to get a grab on the next stock for sure. You need to find yourself a nice zero to death or something like early on. Or that! That's a good way to do it. 98%. He's I don't believe he has enough rage on him. Well, he's get, he's gonna get close to it uh, pretty soon, but like he, he doesn't have enough yet, I think, to get out of the control window. Right. Uh, Ape Man might be getting closer to being able to air dodge uh, air dodge out of it pretty soon. Good patience from the Ape Man at the ledge too. Has Gyro on the ground, goes for laser above. 
Oh, what a play too, especially with Jaro catching that one with the air dodge. Jab down tilt, great play, forcing that opportunity here. Gets the roll. I thought it was gonna go for the grab there for the back throw. This is frightening as hell. That I, even though I know it's it shouldn't work at this point, you see the amount of respect that Ape Man is giving mine because he knows just in case, just in case, it could possibly take him out. But that way, he he played into his his wheelhouse by forcing him to have to go for the grab for the win condition or find an early combo and just keep putting out hitboxes. Like you you got to get in on me. You proved to me you could get to me. Yeah, that is actually the best play to do it against Luigi too. If you have such a lead, one opportunity where Luigi gets that grab and it's curtains. You never had a lead to begin with. It's like a stock lead is good enough, but when you're on your last stock and Luigi's got that 120 and then you're 0%, man, if Luigi just gets that one grab, it's over. It becomes your game to lose. So Ape and Man understood, like, if I put out all these hitboxes, force Luigi into situations where, like, I have Nair to cover me in the air, I have Laser and Gyro to force him into options to respect me, mm -hmm. then you ultimately to start to take the game as a whole. And then it's up to mine, like you said, to work himself to come up to you, man. I'm the one social distancing. It's you who wants to get close <laughs> to me, man. Stay six feet away, please. Oh, man, y'all and, Ke and Kelly are like crazy for dealing with elegant as long as you have. It feels like you're playing against like Russian roulette the entire time you're fighting against the good Luigi. Mind it pretty much forced 8 bit man to situate it's like, look, I have you at 170, and I still don't even feel comfortable going for the KO against you just because yeah. he understands how dangerous it could be that he accidentally chooses wrong and might just die for it. Oh, this is big damage. I like the fact that he dropped down and reset too, trying to like repressure. Oh, he did he cover him? Trying to look for the jump too. Mine is looking much better here at stock one. Yeah. Once again, gyro to force cover the ground here, neutral to cover the jump. And that was forced by the gyro because you see that mine understands, okay, gyro is active there at the ledge. I have to go for a jump and immediately Ape and Man understands the situation, gets the roll all across the stage. Once again, gyro to neutral air. You can tell that Ape and Man is always covering something here and he covers that jump there with the robo arms and he's got the air mo Okay, I was gonna say, hold on. I kind of want to see how this plays out, but unfortunately that side B is not how mine wanted it to play out. And he will lose that stock with Ape Man just holding all the cards, man. Look at this movement. He is getting away from Luigi every time. Yeah, he just understands this matchup so well. He body blocked him by getting in the way to force Luigi to back off after that side B. He's forcing him to go low. He's taking him apart. Mine, unfortunately, dies super early there. And this is huge because for Ape and now it's like, okay, I have two stocks up to play. Now I can do exactly what I'm doing. I can go in on you. <laughs> Most definitely gets the neutral alert, landing on the up tilt. That was good too. I felt like Ape and had the opportunity to go for up air and it would have been a great play. But you also mm -hmm. have to watch out because, you know, Luigi's always going to pull out that tornado to get away. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got the great equalizer in the landing option of the tornado. It also KOs very well. Like, ju almost just like that. Good DI from 8-Bit Man. But you see 8-Bit Man still giving him just enough respect. He knows there's five minutes on the board, and it's still Luigi who can, ex like, just explode the game. At 108%, though, not feeling too good about his chances now. Yeah. I, I want to say, man, look, 8-Bit Man, he has the 5G coverage. He knows everything he needs to cover all his bases, bro. He's looking like T-Mobile, Verizon, AT&T. Nah, fam, I got them all. You come to me, Luigi, I get this grab. I get the Tombstone Pile Driver. You're off the stage. Throw the laser. Force every option in the game. Look at Ape, man. Just go, man. He's taking this three stock to the next level at this point. Really is raising the bar and how you deal with this matchup, man. Just dealt with everything that had to do with Mind's gameplay. Like, Mind was perfectly fine in game one. And then the thing was, after that... Ape Man realized, look, if I just play you just enough out of range as if I'm fighting with a disjoint, I'm going to be able to shut down all of your grabs, all of your approach attempts, 